Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another UFC Undisputed Forever video. And today we're going to be doing an Alex Poetan Bahara title mode um, in light of the fight he just had yesterday. I'm also going to be doing a cool round tree um, title mode very soon. But I figured I'd do the Alex one first since he won in this absolutely crazy fight. Uh, Khalil put up an insane fight. I really thought he had him for a minute, but um, Poetan ended up getting it done once Khalil exhausted himself. I will show you guys the stats real quick as per usual. Here we go. Um, as you can see, he is an absolute menace on the feet with a 99 standing strikes and a 96 strength. His defense is pretty good too with defensive kicks and uh, everything else is pretty... You know, it, it's, it's okay. Clinch grapple, 80. Cl ground striking, 84. Clinch striking, 85. Once you get down to his grappling, <coughs> with um, it, he's in the 60s, which is not the best. Um, but he has relatively good submission defense with a 76, so it's not too too detrimental to get taken down. I'm still going to try to be on my feet, obviously. But uh, yeah, let's just jump right into it and see how we do. I haven't used Poetan in a while. He is one of my favorite fighters to use in the game just because he plays really, really good. <clears throat> and we get Ankalaya first. The fight that um, everyone thinks he's ducking. I mean, it's very possible. It's probably a bad matchup for him, but you know. Um, yeah, anyways, the fights last night were very interesting. A lot of them <laughs> went to decision. There were some bad, bad, bad decisions. And uh, Poetan definitely saved the guard there. Mario Batista took a very grappling heavy approach against Aldo getting like no takedown so that was that was some all right leg kick we're gonna definitely try to give him the Poetan experience here there we go nice left hook right off the bat landing a ton of leg kicks there we go all right i want to get back to the middle of the cage i'm just going to walk forward there we go leg kick oh good combination there we go back and forth it looks like that's what i'm looking for right there that combination that i'm throwing over and over just these types of things this is why I love using Poetan. He's the only fighter where you can almost fight exactly how he fights in real life. Same thing with Strickland. Okay. Leg kick. You see the way I'm just ripping apart his leg? And then I'm whipping that left hook over the top? That's the way you want to use Poetan in this game. If you ever wondered... <laughs> there you go. <laughs> love it. Okay. Knockdown. God damn, Ankoliev. Put your dukes up, son. What the f*** are you doing? Go for the takedown. I dare you, you mother Go for it. You feeling froggy? Jump. Let's go. I'm ready. Head kick coming at you. Okay. There we go, folks. That's what we love to see. That's what we've been waiting for. <laughs> I didn't. I don't know why I didn't think he uh, was going to do that there. I guess he had me fooled the first time. Oh, that could have been dangerous for him. Nope. Oh, well, that is a wrap, son. <laughs> the head kick gets him uh, out of there. God damn. Yeah, that was exactly what you like to see. Um, perfect Poetan performance right there. Um, I mean, I switched stances right there at the end, but you know what? It made me set up the hit, uh, the kick a lot better. Um, so I, I'm, I'm okay with that. Knocked him right out on the monster logo. He's going to need some monster to wake up after that one. And, uh, yeah, let's see who else we got on this, uh, on this title mode. I'm curious to see who we're going to be fighting next. That's going to be how I go about pretty much every fight is exactly like that. Doing the same exact... Um, game plan because that's really how Poetan fights. Um, looks like we're gonna be fighting Anthony Smith, possibly um, Jason Brills, but I'm not sure. I would prefer Anthony Smith just because he's more relevant at the moment, but you know, we have to fight Brills, we'll fight Brills. <laughs> 
I will uh, I'll fight him. I don't care. A light heavyweight showdown between Jason Brills and dangerous Muay Thai striker. All right, Anthony Smith. Not bad. Did you just say Jason Brills? Isn't that owes to me? I'm confused. The sport lives here. Gentlemen, ready? All right. Ready? Jason Brills. And here we go. Touch of the gloves. Here we go. Never mind. I guess he uh, took it personally or something. Yeah, I think he has a real good chance of making it to okay. if he fights as well as he did the last time. Smith coming out really hot right now. There we go. He is teeing off right now. Probably not a good idea that he comes out like that because I'm going to catch him. For sure, if he keeps coming at me like that. Here we go. This is uh, Smith on paper right now, I assume. <laughs> He's doing pretty good right now. That's probably why. All right. Let me just chill here for a second. I'm going to skadoodle out to the side here. There we go just missed that head kick not that left hook though <clears throat> there we go head kick landed too body shot knocked him down and he is in real trouble yep get up smith god damn if that hook landed that would have been a wrap oh my god smith come on bitch come on bitch Come on! What are you gonna do about it? <laughs> yeah, Anthony Smith was not a really not a good matchup there. That's why I was really trying to style on him. This next fight, um, we're we're probably gonna start getting thrown into the deep waters though. <clears throat> Smith was just like, look at that! Come on now! <laughs> Come on now! There was no there was no getting away from that one. Ladies and gentlemen. Referee Josh Rosenthal has called us right. to this contest at two minutes, 35 seconds. Here we go. Knockout first round. Let's see what we got next. Um, yeah, it looks like we're going to start fighting. Ooh, are we going to be fighting Stylebender? That would be a nice little turn of events here. I would like that. Did I press exit on accident? That's our, That's my bad. Sorry about that. Sorry, folks. <laughs> Did not mean to do that. Coming up next, a light heavyweight showdown. I really don't. Like, what, what did I press? I, I I must have not been paying attention. I really thought I pressed next. I don't know. So we got Rakic next. Um, I guess we're not fighting Stylebender yet. Um, hopefully he keeps winning and we'll meet him a little bit later on. At tapout.com. Are you ready? Are you ready? Ryan Bader. All right. I don't know why. I shouldn't say this, but I feel like Rakic is going to be an easy fight. Um, he usually isn't for me. Either. That's probably why um, he always almost beats me. is because I'm always like, ah, I feel like I'm going to beat Rakic pretty easily here. And then he starts putting up a good fight. But right now, I really... I don't know. I just have a feeling I'm going to knock Rakic out spectacularly. <clears throat> Switch stances. Not quite. Missed that shot. Nice oh. Outside leg kick. Here we go. Nice little knee there. He can't take many more of these, Joe. Fast hands. Good. Tried to land another knee there, but not quite. There we go. Left, right. I will say this. He's backing me up constantly. His pressure is a little bit better than the other people we fought so far. Okay, get him in that clinch. <clears throat> wow. We really just pushed him all the way up against the clinch. That's pretty impressive, honestly. And some knees to the leg. Maybe skadoodle into tie clinch and land a knee. Nice elbow. Almost got another knee in there, but he caught it. Nope. There we go. We're seeing a lot of power shots. There we go. Nice little combo right there. Leg kick. Leg kick. Head kick. There we go. Oh, he knocked us down. Holy shit. 
I thought we had him there for a second. Look at Rockich over here. Smart game plan over here. Pushing his All right. Away. Just trying to hit that left hook and that high kick as frequently as possible whenever I can. He is teeing off right now. Body shot. There we go. Right. Big shots landed right there. Oh, the there we go. Look at that tricky switch stance right there. Body kick. Uppercut. F it. Bam, bam, bam. Throw something big, Poeton. Ready for this? Nope. I'm not. There we go. Head kick. <laughs> I said head kick, but threw a flying knee. Oh my god, what a round. Yeah, I got really captivated into that round trying to knock him out towards the end. Sorry about that. Yeah, I want, I want to take this motherfucker head off. I don't know what it is, but I am throwing combination after combination. All right, I'm running with a leg kick on some prime uh, Jose Aldo. Fight schedule for three five-minute rounds. Okay. Leg kick. I'm very surprised he blocked that uh, left hook. Nice. Knee. And head kick. Oh, shit. There we go. That's what you love to see. Oh, that's it. That is it. Yeah, I knew the head kick was going to be coming soon. I just didn't know it was going to be that soon. Oh, shut the f*** up. Rackage, stop complaining. You lost. You lost. There was no coming back from that one. Come on now. Don't act like you would have done something. Um. All right. That was a pretty good fight right there. I'd say that that went about how I thought it would. Um, oh no. <laughs> now we're getting into some grappling uh, territory here. <laughs> Glover and DC. Not the two people I wanted to see next on the list, but maybe, you never know, maybe we'll just take him out early on, like we did with uh, Taporia on that hooker career. <laughs> God damn, that was a fight. Oh, Glover, we're fighting our mentor. <clears throat> That's good. Antonio Rogerio Noguera. If he gave us a black belt for uh, knocking someone out, I can only imagine what he's gonna give us for knocking him out. He gives us a red belt right off the bat. A coral belt. <laughs> Poetons a coral belt. Imagine walking around with that shit on. That's crazy. All right. Here we go. Mergoliata is the referee yet again, and uh, I'm gonna try to break my record for fastest knockout in the world. And that's already not going to happen. Okay. We already did drop him, though. God damn. No. No submissions for you, buddy boy. Jump. Do it. Nope. Now he does it. Smart man. I got to give it to him. That that's. It would have been really stupid if he listened to me <laughs> and did... What I wanted him to. There we go. Right into sprawl. See, maybe the black belt's working. I don't know. Maybe Glover was on to something here. Look at this. You kidding me right now? <laughs> this is what I'm saying. Strength matters in this game for grappling, clinching, everything. His uh, grappling stats are not good at all, but he has a 96 strength. That's why he's able to just control people on the ground like this. Look at the reversals. You've seen me before. You've seen me with fighters where I'm like, why is this guy not reversing? It's because of strength, I'm telling you. It has to do with it, for sure. I would have been reversed. I would have been transitioned on like seven times already if this was someone else. But the strength matters so much in this game. All right. Because Glover is really good on the ground, honestly. I'm gonna like almost prove a point just to get the win on the ground here just to show you guys that like it's very possible with high strength oh, we got reversed. He gets a reversal here. I'm gonna try to time one. I might still mess it up I'm not the best at the game, but you know, I'm doing a lot better than I would with a lot of other fighters like look at that Go right to the back. He's not even reversing me nice right hand. oh, that's a big shot. 
Looking for the rear naked choke finish. There's no way we're about to get a choke right now. It's not under the chin. Good submission defense. There's no way. Yeah, I was gonna say, bro. If I wasn't looking at the camera, I probably could have gotten that, but it's whatever. I don't really want a submission as Poetan anyway. It just feels wrong. Five seconds remains in the first round. Now into side control. All right, this is not a good position to be in, but you know, it's only 20 seconds left. Into half guard. Vicious vicious right. from the top. Round Weird round right there, but I, like I was saying, the, the strength matters a lot. In the clinching, you can just bully people to the cage. Um, so definitely keep that in mind when you're choosing your fighter, if you're competing in Dream. Speaking of which, I just commentated in the first ever debut Dream event yesterday. Um, it is like a PvP thing on Parsec for UFC Undisputed Forever, so if you guys want to go check that out, um highly recommend it um actually have to I, I should link it in the description or something like that i gotta find out wh uh, what the channel's named and stuff like that and then i will i will do so but uh it's pretty fun i, I had a lot of fun doing it shout out to um d jared i've seen him in the comments before and he had some great performances on there um proxy was another one had some great performances ufc vet great performances um and the winner of the tournament ended up being sosa i believe and he was just grappling everybody so great action there, pretty interesting pretty interesting night uh, i'm excited to be involved in it and i'm um, excited for what the future holds for that event so tune in next saturday <laughs> i will be there this wednesday will be the universe mode with me and vet um he had to postpone it so uh yeah stay tuned for that as well it was gonna be today but I'm kind of glad he postponed it. I had a bunch of shit to do today, and I always end up making time for the universe mode anyway. But it gives me more time to just accomplish while I can, you know. Also, today's the last day my pool's gonna be open, so I figured, you know what, I want to take one last dip in that pool before they uh, close it, and I'm sad. There we go. Right into side control. Full mount. Full mount. This is not good. Versus me, I get right up. I kill him with a flying knee. <laughs> okay. Dude, he's so f fast as Poeton. The way his uh, some of these punches come out are unbelievable. Like look at that, f look at that f switch kick. Okay. Oh my God. There we go. Look at that combination. All right, we're going to try to land that left hook knockout right here. It's going to take just a little bit of setup, but I should be able to do it pretty easy. Nice. Not bad. That was not what I wanted. Nice reversal. I don't know how the hell Glover ate that. This is bad, folks. This is what you get for playing with your food, really. Okay, we're going to slam the shit out of Glover right now. I guess not. Oh, it's because their stamina is really low. Makes sense. Wait a minute. Wait just a patty flipping second. You going to do it? You going to do that thing? No? He was, he was way too smart for that one. He's like, I coached you. I know what you're about to do. <laughs> oh, answered by a big okay. shot. Push kick. Brandon Barra switches. There we go. Switch stances. Good sprawl. Brandon Barra switches. That one dropped him. He's hurt. Get the fuck up. I have my finger on the button for the knee. I was waiting for him if he had uh, any ideas. Ooh. I was loading up a punch that was about to knock his chin off. That was that was gonna be that was gonna be the bomb of all bombs. That was gonna be a Moab right there. <clears throat> Holy shit. Okay, here we go. This will be the last round, I'm calling it. 
Well, actually, it's the third round, so <laughs> it's definitely the last round, no matter what. Um, I was gonna say it's it's gonna be the last round. It's because I'm I said so, but it's also because the commission and UFC and all of MMA says so. Okay. Here we go. Flying knee incoming. There we go. I don't know how the hell that didn't land harder. Just grazed the top of his head, really. Okay. Left hook. Nope. There we go. Alright. We just need one more big shot, I think. There we go. He's got the clinch. No, no. Why are you not transitioning? What the fuck are you doing, Poton? Relentless takedowns here. Nice reversals. God damn it. That's crazy. Oh my god. Holy shit. <laughs> that came out of nowhere. I don't know why that knockout felt so ferocious. It was like Poetan was getting frustrated in game. Perfect timing. Perfect. Yeah, he felt like a sack of potatoes right there. That was pretty nuts. All right, that 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 was that was all right. That was that was an all right fight right there. Um, it looks like we're gonna be fighting uh, Daniel Cormier next, which I'm not very excited for. This guy has a brick for a head, <clears throat> and he can take people down because he's just shaped like a barrel. He has, like, the best build for wrestling. He's so low to the ground. He's, like, a beefy motherfucker. And he can take a shot from Anthony Johnson. So, at the end of the day, he's, like, one of the... He's, like, one of the perfect builds for MMA, even if people might not want to believe it. DC has, like, the perfect... They're like, oh, he's super, super short for heavyweight, but if you saw, like, with Stipe... Sometimes that gives people trouble. Mike Tyson used to give a lot of people trouble. Just keeps punching up like, oh, like throwing overhands and shit like this while they're punching down, leaving themselves open. I, you hear a lot of people say that it's sometimes harder to fight uh, a really, really short guy when you're really, really tall. So it's pretty interesting. Also, you tie up your hands a lot and then just dirty box you. <clears throat> You would like hold your hands and just go pop, 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 pop around your punches. Did that a ton with John Jones, and John Jones has the longest reach in the UFC. So, you know, I mean, it didn't end well <laughs> for him, unfortunately, but it was going well for the first round. <clears throat> All right, Poetan is about to uh, slam that ham. Let's see what we can do here. I'm going to throw a lot more leg kicks than I was throwing last fight because I do not want to... Um, you don't want to headhunt against DC. He will just take your ass down. Okay. Jab to the body. Or it's more like to the chest almost. Punch a hole in his f***ing chest. <laughs> Very long ago. You got to love it. <clears throat> Punch a hole in his f***ing chest. That's another thing. Strength matters for takedown defense, as you can see. Poetan doesn't have the best takedown defense, but because he's so strong, you could take, you could defend a lot of takedowns, <laughs> even from DC. Very <clears throat> good. Nice leg kick. Beautiful. No. God damn it. Okay. I tried to reverse his transition. That didn't quite work. I don't even know if you can reverse that. Tra you probably can. You can reverse almost everything in this game, which is why it's so damn cool. <clears throat> the amount of animations they have in this game is kind of crazy. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> Allergies are f***ing me up. All right. Here we go. I really want more body kicks. There we go. I'd say we're doing some good work here, but he is he, he does have some damage to our head I don't like. <clears throat> head movement is on point from DC. 
Nice body kick attempt right there. Inside leg kicks. Let's do some of those. I know Poetan loves his inside leg kicks. That's not an outside leg kick. It's an inside leg kick. <clears throat> Why did Joe Rogan go against me for literally no reason? I don't know why I jumped into his guard. I mean, I'm probably going to be able to... Oh, no, never mind. I was going to say... Probably going to be able to stick down here as long as he... Uh, is down here, but he ended up wanting to get up anyway. So it's no big deal. Alright, I want one big shot here. I really want to end this round with an exclamation point because I feel like this is a really close one. And we couldn't quite do that. I don't really know who won that round. I mean, I could have won because we did knock him down. It wasn't a big knockdown, though. Yeah, opportunity will come. I do feel like we will knock him out, but it just... We haven't been able to land anything that crazy. Unbelievable timing on that. And here we see the striking game being He did get a takedown. That's not the best. And this was right on target. That is nasty, scary power. That's what we knocked him out uh, knocked him down with a left hook. Makes sense. <clears throat> it was like a swaying left hook right out of the way. I should I should throw that more with Poetan. I don't know why I don't. Like kick. Okay. Didn't quite get that body kick. God damn, DC. Head kick right there. <clears throat> there we go. He really wants that left hook. He's trying to Poetan the Poetan. And that's never a good idea. Never a good idea. He's trying to dirty box me. That's very realistic for DC, actually. Oh, my God. Probably not a good idea, though, considering how strong Poetan is. Oh, my God. He reverses me. Holy shit. What a fight. All right. There we go. There we go. Oh. Knees to the body. Get up. I don't want to gas myself out and get caught in a sub. Okay. He's going for a flying knee. Probably not the best of ideas. Oh, my God. All right. I got I to gotta lock in, guys. There we go. Oh, shit. Okay. We sprawl him with no stamina. No, you don't. Get out of here, you silly bastard. Okay. Nice uppercut right there. Nope. That left hook was close, but he caught us a little bit before it. Good exchange between both these fighters. He is taking a yeah, I'm gonna turn into silver real quick. Hold up. Swing and a miss. Trying to find the range. Just miss with that one. <laughs> Look at him go. Right now, <laughs> Look at him go. It's adorable. Look at this. He's got the double. Just Look at this. Ready? Out. Let me skirt out to the side real quick. Look at him go. He's trying so hard. They clinch again. Drop down for a double. <laughs> nice draw. Good take Get up. Come on, DC. If he knocks me out, this would be the funniest thing of the year. Um, <laughs> when playing with your food goes wrong. Okay. Dude, get a takedown. Isn't that like your thing? Don't you do that or something? Aren't you like a wrestler? <laughs> Isn't that like your your whole your whole thing? All right, you know what? I think we need to show him the ropes. I think we need to show him how to wrestle this round. Let's go for it. <clears throat> All right. I'm going to put the singlet on for this round. Come on. There we go. Hold up, DC. DC, reverse me, buddy boy. Come on. What are you doing? Dude. DC. Come on. Get your shit together. He's in full guard. <laughs> that's, that's actually a DC quote. Get your shit together, John. <laughs> All right, hold up. Hold on, brother. I'm wrestling here. DC, get back down there. I didn't I didn't tell you to get that get up yet. What the f*** are you doing? 
This is my. I have a black belt. Remember that. Sh full guard here. Putting it to the full oh. test right now. Get the, the fuck down, DC. I said stay down. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. <laughs> You're wild. I need to put you down. <clears throat> All right, hold up. Let's see what he does from here, Joe. I'm giving him the GSP experience right now. <laughs> Man, DC getting grapple f by Alex Behera. I think he might just jump out a window at that point. He'd be like, you know what? I think that God's against me in this sport. <laughs> I don't think this is fair. <laughs> yeah, this is just sad at this point. Yep. DC can't wrestle. I had to show him how it really works, you know? Sometimes you gotta do that. You gotta really, you gotta really hammer it in that you're better than someone. And, uh, even if they're AI. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm not really that much of a psychopath. But that was just really funny. I had to do it. I had, I had to wrestle DC as Poetong. Come on now. That's a sneak peek into the series I'm gonna be doing in the future. P fighting as fighters the wrong way. <laughs> I'm gonna try to fight, like, uh, I'm gonna try to like use Ben Askren, but K1 kickbox with him. I'm gonna try to use Crow Cop, but submit people with him. You know, you get the you get the gist. That's gonna be a series I do in the future. Um, and uh, let me know what, what you guys think about it. I've been saying I was gonna do it for a while, but uh, I would like to know you guys' thoughts on it. I had the idea a little bit ago, <clears throat> and then someone also asked me to do it, and I was like, hey, I've actually thought of that before. Good idea. Um, it looks like we're gonna be fighting Style Bender and then John Jones, which is a very good way to cap things off. We're probably gonna fight like one or two people in between there, but you know, <clears throat> it looks like we're gonna have like three more fights left. And then I will end the video there, and uh, yeah. Let's see how it goes. <clears throat> oh, Paulo Costa. I didn't expect that, honestly. Dangerous Muay Thai striker. We gotta be really careful with Costa because uh, he can hit really hard in this game. Our tale of the tape is brought to you by the only right. worthy of being in the octagon, Harley Davidson. We are now set for the official introductions, second. and with that, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, oh my god, everything's falling. Why is this always happening? Record. Rounds of fighting in the UFC light heavyweight oh. division. Introducing first. Fighting out of the I go to get a tissue and the fucking paper towels just completely unravel and go all over my floor. It's like, dude, I just want one fucking paper towel. <laughs> Help me. Alright. Herb Dean is the referee. About time we saw him. I don't think we saw him all night so far. But here we are. No touch of the gloves. Get your fucking dirty hand out of here. Yeah, he no one wants it. Okay, Damn, nice takedown from Costa. Costa. I don't know why I say Costa, Costa. I really switch up on names a lot. I'm really bad with names. Big elbows and punches from the top. Well, this ain't a good look. Uh, reversal? No. See, here's the thing with Costa. He's a lot stronger than DC. So, as you can see, he's grappling. He's also transitioning smart, uh, more smart, but he's definitely stronger than DC. Okay. Use defense to get up real quick. Or not. Holy shit. Bro, flip me like a pancake. Pause. Inside the guard, posturing up. All right. Pushes him off of the feet. He decides to let him up. Swinging a miss. Oh, big left Dude, hook. get the f back. You know what? Enough of this. What am I doing? What am I doing? Backing up his poeton. You, you better back the f up, bro. Drink another bottle of wine or something and step back. Enough is enough. I had enough of your bullshit here. Holy sh. We're going at it. There we go. Man, good exchange between both these fighters. Holy <laughs> yo! <laughs> yo! We are fighting, fighting right now. Holy sh! 
That was like rock'em sock'em robots for sure. Holy sh! That one staggered him. He got tagged there, but it looks like he's. Oh my God! I almost fell out of my fucking chair. That Poetan chin is hanging in there so far, though. Okay. He shoots. No, you don't. Yes, you do. <clears throat> nice. No. Let's just wait it out. <clears throat> Next round. Round one complete. Man, they really mixed it up in that round. Dude, what a round. <laughs> that was probably one of the most fun rounds I've ever been a part of in this whole entire game. Holy sh <laughs> Dude. Let's go to the replay. Look at these exchanges. Constant action. Unbelievable timing. Wow. Okay. And here's that devastating. I could have been a lot more defensively sound there, but it was just so fun to swing. Oh my god. Are you ready? This is what I love about this. This game is the best. <laughs> this game is awesome. <laughs> I love this game. Alright. Here we go. Punishing the midsection. Brandon Barra switches to the south ball stand. Nice. Dude, this guy has power in those hands. It's not flash, it's like flash um knockdown power, if that makes any sense. You've seen fighters when they're so powerful, they'll hit someone and just like binks them for a second. They're like, whoa, what the f was that? But it doesn't really knock them out. It seems like that's what he's doing a lot here. Okay. Oh, that should have landed. Leg, or a body kick. Leg kick. God damn, son. His pressure is nutty. <clears throat> we are just throwing and trading. It's like a turn-based combat game. We're just taking turns on who is on the offensive. Side control. And again. He loves throwing this is not good. He's in guard here. I know what I need to do, though. Part of me wants to go for the guillotine, so oh, he's got locked in. Guillotine. I accidentally did. He can get no way. Here, Joe. He's got an arm in. No f shot. Yeah, I was going to say, tight, bro. <laughs> I was thinking about it so much that I accidentally actually tried it. <laughs> I wanted it so bad. Don't be silly. Jump the ghillie. But as you saw, it, it wasn't a good idea. <clears throat> he only has a 55 submission rating, which is not very, not very good. What a great display of fighting. Get down. You've got to realize that these men are really that takedown's borderline OP because it's very easy to lose. Or very easy to use, rather. I don't know why I said lose. Holy sh uppercut. I will say, it seems like uh, Costa's got a chin on him as well. Wow. Weird exchange right there. Nice leg kick. Trying to steal my leg kicks, bitch? The f That's the end of round number two. Our fighters will move to the weird round right there. So far, this whole fight's been bizarre. Like this, this fight is a weird one for sure. Um, I'm here for it though. Use the cage to sweep. He has cage sweeps. I did not know that. Holy. F Let's take a look at the replay from that round, Mike. I'm gonna have a lot of censoring to do today, I'm just realizing. I've been flinging uh, curse words left and right. Here we go, round three. Come on, let's do it. No touch of the gloves. Good body shot. Here we go. Oh, there we go. And that might be a wrap. Nope, he catches my first punch. Here we go. There we go. Get up, because we're starting to gas out. And it's over. <laughs> to the guy that said he's been trying to get those for 10 years, I, I'm, I'm telling you, once you get used to them, you'll get them a lot. They're, 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 they're always there.
The AI loves jumping into your knees if you if you let them. Look at this. Exactly how we did Elia. Down to a fucking T. Like that is what they do. The they a they love jumping into that knee. I don't know what it is. He just nails him with that. But yeah, there you go. Knockout right there, Joe. Another beautiful knockout from Poeton. It's what you love to see. Okay. Um, I will be doing uh, what's his name, Khalil Roundtree after this too, so you can look forward to that in the future. Uh, but. For now, we're just going to be doing this today, and then I'm going to go swimming and shit tomorrow. I'll probably film some of that. Looks like we're going to be fighting Stylebender, and then John Jones, which is exactly how I wanted this title mode to go. If that actually happens and everything unfolds... I had to say something, didn't I? I just had to say something. Not only do I not want to fight Jan just because it's there's really no story there it's not like that big of it's not not as not as cool a fight as the uh is he one but also Jan sucks in this game i don't mean he sucks like he sucks stat wise i mean he's really good for no reason this guy the polish power is real let's just put it that way this guy he'll, he'll put one punch on you and your health will go down 50. energy uh. drink Dude has some different power on him. So we're not going to let this Thwomp KO us. We're going to try to hit him with some left hooks early on. Um, and he really is shaped like a Thwomp from Super Mario Brothers. The square stone things. He's the real stone head right here. I imagine I could throw a rock full force at Jan's head and he would just be like, What? <laughs> what are you doing over there? <laughs> what was that? Did you throw a racer at my head <clears throat> yeah, that dude is made of iron and his kicks are so hard i don't understand how i would not think yon was that uh that powerful of a guy if you didn't see him fight but and we ko him immediately it's over i think we just won well I'm telling you, it's because I was hyping him up and making him seem so good. We just submitted him in 40 seconds. <laughs> no way. Oh, my God, bro. What a weird day. What a weird day here. <laughs> this is the most bizarre Poetan title mode of all time. Okay. Looks like we got... It's <laughs> <laughs> we took a little quick detour there real quick to fight Jan for 40 seconds, and now we're going to be fighting Izzy. And then, and then John Jones. <laughs> Dude, what the hell was that? I did not expect it to go that fast, man. That was kind of crazy. <clears throat> I'm going to try to, like, speed run these last fights now. That felt really cool. Okay, let's see what we got here. Um, Izzy can sometimes be a pain in the ass Other times he's really easy to beat So I really don't know who we're going to get here But I guess we'll find out D. Jared uh, had some really sick uh, style bender Faints and stuff like that I was really excited to see what people would do online Because I haven't really watched much online for this game So it was cool to see different tricks That uh, different fighters used and stuff like that he was very good at the feints. He had really technical striking game, which I I, I very much like to watch. Um, and yeah, I think he got all the way to the finals, I believe. So, shout out to him, man. I am uh, definitely not that good. <laughs> I don't think I would ever compete, but you know, it's definitely cool to see. He's standing across the octagon, staring okay. at the last obstacle. Okay, not exactly how I expected this to start off. It was only a matter of time before these two light heavyweights collided for a shot at the champ. Nice. That's a rock. Yep. Wow. Leg lock. He's grabbing an ankle lock. Great submission. He has better submission defense. That's pretty crazy. Trying to turn it I mean, it's not that crazy. Jan doesn't have the best submission defense. Good count. And Izzy has relatively good submission defense, actually. I mean, not judging off his last fight, but, you know, Drakus finds... It. He could submit anybody. I feel like Drakus can submit f***ing uh, 
Hodger Gracie, if, if the time's right. Like, I, I don't know how he even works. I don't understand Drakus as a person or as a fighter. I don't, I don't understand him. I don't, I don't know how God made, I don't know what kind of an anomaly he is, but I don't think anyone can do what he does as effectively as he does it. He is such an amazing fighter, and I can't even put my finger on why. He just kind of is. And I respect that immensely. Because I don't think a lot of, I don't think anyone else could do it. I genuinely think this might be the only time we ever see a fighter that is like Dracus. It's such a unique style. Not saying he's the best fighter of all time or anything, but definitely the one of the weirdest ones I've ever watched. God damn, Stylebender. Stylebender also hits deceivingly hard. He can flash KO you at any moment. Pretty sure that's what he did in our Poeton career mode way back in the day of the channel. One of the first series I did on the channel when my channel started popping off. Just over a minute remains. Okay. Went for the flying knee. Probably not a good advised attempt. Okay. That was a horrible idea for me. I don't know what I was thinking. In the distance, he's got I wanted a left show. hook, but I knew he was throwing a kick. I just fell for it. Dumb idea from Adesanya. Don't know why he did that. He wasn't going to get anywhere with it. And he should have known that. Very good body punches, I should add. <clears throat> nice body kick. Um, not the round that I wanted. I wanted to knock him down, but, you know. He started hitting me some, uh, hit me with some good, good, good body shots right there. Let's take a look at some of the action from that round, Mike. We saw some I shouldn't have went for that leg lock. I have no idea why I did that. I got submission happy after that, uh, after that last one, I guess. All right. What we're gonna do? Run right at him. Nope. We need. Okay, we're head hunting. That's the problem here. See. See, the second you start landing other punches, everything else opens up. I don't know why I never learned from my mistakes. That's a wrap. See, the second I stopped headhunting, I won. It's really that easy. You just need to mix it up. Especially with Poetan, when he has such good leg kicks that come out so fast. And kicks in general. The switch kick is like that. So, if you're not ready for that sh it's gonna ca it's gonna catch you bad. As soon as he had him. <clears throat> Izzy is out, and here we go. John Jones, last fight of the day. And I don't even need to add an extra fight, not only because it's super long, but also I feel like this is the perfect title mode, really. This is probably the best Poetan title mode we've ever done. Most entertaining one, in my opinion. You guys can let me know in the comments how you feel about that. And, you know, everyone I've wanted to fight, we fought, you know. Besides Yuri, I would have liked to fight Yuri, but Yuri's also a pain in the ass to fight, so it's probably good we didn't fight him. <clears throat> Next up, our main event of the evening for the UFC Light Heavyweight Championship of the World. First on the scale is the challenger. All right. A face off with John Jones. Next up on the scale is the defending champion. What a square off. I do. I, uh. Sorry, I had a stroke there. If Sam Maroon or UFC Vet or anyone that knows is in the comments, is there a mod to bring back the modern John Jones to re the, the UFC on light heavyweight? I mean, I know he's not at light heavyweight anymore, but it, I, I just would like to have a... I love the old version. It looks awesome, but I do want the uh, modern looking version for sure. Just because it, it looks more natural in my game because I'm, you know, I have all the stuff modern. Also, uh, I was wondering about the Tony Ferguson thing. Uh, just just a, a thought here. Um, I know you guys added Prime Tony, but instead of Prime Tony being in the regular fight slot, the UFC slot, and they have not Prime Tony in the Ryzen slot at 77, I think that should be swapped out. That way the Prime one is in Ryzen, so he doesn't show up in the career mode, because he wouldn't be Prime anymore. In the career mode, he still should be the modern Tony with the 77 overall. And if they used the Ryzen one, that would make that, that would be fine. But, uh, I don't know. Just suggestions. 
All right, last fight of the day against John Jones. Let's see how we do here. <clears throat> John Jones is another one that's really weird. He could be a really, 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 really tough fight or an insanely easy one. You really never know. <clears throat> you never know which uh, John you're getting until you get in the octagon with him in this game. Again, not headhunting this time. That's how I... Uh, that's going to be my key to victory is not headhunting. Leg kick. I always forget he has that spinning elbow, and I don't know how, because that's literally his signature move. No, you don't. Wow. He's one of the first people to just be able to take me down with no issue at all. I look a lot bigger than John. Holy sh**. Bro, I never hit that. I never hit that reversal. That's crazy. Poetons on some other stuff. Dude's gonna go for a takedown. Watch, 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 watch. Takedown. He's gonna do it. Nope. John's too smart. The fight IQ's there. He will do it at some point. Watch. Next time, now that I'm ex uh, expecting it, or now that I'm not expecting it, he's gonna do it. That's what the AI loves to do. They love to scramble your noggin. Under three minutes now. Here we go. Holy sh**. Yeah, Jones is getting pieced up right now on the feet. Okay. I, I don't know why I shot a takedown. I just really wanted to see if I can get a blast double. Nice knee. I didn't even mean to throw that. <laughs> Completely accidentally threw that. That's great. Okay. Nice catch. Damn. Right up. No flying knee there. They don't. Another catch. Nice spinning back kick from John. Head hunting again. Got to stop myself. Hold up. Ooh, what a spinning elbow from Johnny Jones. I'm setting it up, guys. Don't worry. It's coming. When I say it, you already know. Damn, he's taking me down with no stamina. That's how good his takedowns are. I mean, it's not a surprise at all. He's John Jones, but, you know. No. Don't make any stupid mistake here, Reese. Just wait. Just wait. Stop being impatient and just wait for the end of the round. What am I doing? <clears throat> oh, Undisputed's coming out the 11th. That's pretty cool. Um, I'm, I'm probably going to make a career mode on that. So stay tuned for that. I might do like a, a creative fighter. Maybe we'll do like Mike Tyson or like Nick Diaz or some shit. I don't know. I want to do a cool career mode. If, or if you guys want to see me just make a creative fighter in general, like however I want to fight, then let me know. I definitely want to do a uh, undisputed uh, career mode. That'd be really fun. Look at that combination. John Jones was getting hit left and right, but he has such a chin on him. Ew, he hit me in the armpit. I don't know why I said ew, but you know, you know. <laughs> armpits aren't exactly great, but you know. Punching someone in the armpit. The reaction to be ew is a little bit funny. We start round two. This fight scheduled for five. Head kick. I don't know how that did no damage, but you know, skimmed off him, I guess. He can't take many more of these, Joe. Nice left hook and head kick. He is getting hit at will now. Jab to the body. There we go. Switch kick. This man is hurt bad. Bink, out, he is out. <laughs> I told you, once you get those knees down, you land them all the time. Holy sh That is like two or three knockouts just this title mode with knees. Damn, son. <laughs> That's pretty sick, honestly. Look at that. Right to the sternum. Oh, sh Okay. This was a very fun title mode. I'm glad I did this. I was going to do Luke Rockhold, but then I was like, you know, while they're relevant, let me do Poetonic a little round tree. 
And uh, Khalil will be coming next, and then after that, I'm going to do um, Luke Rockhold and DC. Uh, I'll do some of the AK guys in general. I feel like that'll be a good move. Maybe we'll even do Kane Velasquez. That'd be super fun. Some cardio Kane. Uh, let's let's see the stats for the title mode real quick, and then let's uh, let's end the video right there. We had to fight nine times that time. That that's one of the most uh, most times they made me fight to get the title shot. That's kind of crazy. I don't know why we were putting on performance after performance. Uh, as you can see, all knockouts are subs. Um, we only got one sub there, and it was 40 seconds <laughs> against Jan Belovic, which is crazy. As you can see, our, we were pretty accurate here. Our punches landed, and our kicks landed are uh, pretty good. We only shot one takedown and didn't get it. Transitions, we almost got every single transition. This is what I'm talking about. When you have a really high strength rating, your transitions are more likely to be um, successful. It says it somewhere in the tutorial. I will find it and screenshot it one of these days and show it to the devs or whatever because uh i remember vet being like oh it does like i i, I thought everyone knew that the strength does tie to like everything it ties to every single interaction in the game which is crazy um any sort of like grab clinch grappling takedown defense offense it's very tied into strike uh damage which is a little bit stupid because it's hard to balance then but you know what, what are you gonna do it's an old game and it's better than anything we got today so I'm more than happy with it. As you can see, we only got rocked twice by other fighters. We've only been um, knocked down five times by other fighters, and we have uh, quite a bit ourselves. Submission attempts, we only have four. We got one submission, so we're one for three. And uh, yeah, that's about it, guys. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. It helps out the channel a lot, and I will see you guys next time. Peace out.